I'm Lindsay. This is my sister, Laura. We are the founders of Kin. We are here in our outdoor Kin studio at Amanyara Turks and Caicos. This 60 minute slow flow is all about getting into our bodies and connecting to our own breath. We're gonna use the breath to create space in the body and also help the body to surrender a little more to gravity. And there's this balance in the practice of effort and ease. My sister's gonna be demonstrating some of the modifications for the practice and I'll be leading you through the rest. So let's get started. For this practice, have a bolster and a block nearby. So we're gonna begin the practice on our backs. And we can start with the knees bent and the feet planted. Bringing your arms down by your sides, turning the palms open. Closing your eyes. As the eyes close, we bring our awareness to our bodies, our attention to our breath. Notice the sensation and quality of your natural breath. Feel your feet on the ground. Feel your sacrum, your shoulder blades, your arms and back of head on the ground. Begin to let go of any extra effort in your body. Gradually here, we'll extend our breath, breathing in and out through the nose. As you inhale, think about creating space in your body. So we feel the belly rise as we inhale. We feel the chest rise. We might feel the breath in our throat. And as you exhale, we empty the throat, the chest, the belly and just feeling the wave of your breath moving in and out. Feeling the full capacity of your lungs. Creating space with each breath in, surrendering gently to gravity with each breath out. From here, you can choose to bring the soles of the feet together, let the knees drop open, or extend your heels down to the bottom corners of your mat. Let's take three more steady breaths in and out. See if you can bring all of your attention to your breath. And from here, we're going to extend our legs to the bottom of the mat if they aren't there already. And take your arms back behind you. On the inhale, reach through your fingers, reach through your toes. We might lift through the ribs, lengthen. Exhale, soften and sink right where you are. Two more like that. Reach, stretch, lengthen, inhale. Soften and sink, exhale. One more time, reach, stretch, lengthen. Exhale, soften and sink. And we'll slowly pull the knees over the chest. We can hold on to the knees, the shins, or the backs of our thighs, whatever allows the shoulders and back body to be on the ground. And then from here, we're just gonna pull those thighs toward the belly and start to circle the knees, grounding the sacrum. We feel this release through our low back. Gentle massage happening for the digestive organs here too. Good. And then change directions of your circling. Notice the quality of the breath and the sensation of your breath in your body. Back to center on the exhale, we squeeze the thighs to the belly and reach and extend through our heels. And then take your heels to the sky. Hold the backs of the legs and actively reach through your heels. Your knees might be a little bent here or they might be able to straighten. And then reach through your toes. Now circle the feet like you're drawing circles with your big toes. Change direction. We'll take the legs wide for happy baby stretch, dropping through the knees. We might keep our hands on the backs of thighs if you need space in the pose, or we might be able to bring our hands to the ankles or outer edges of feet. 
pull the knees toward the armpits, toward those outer ribs, and reach up through your heels. Press down through the shoulders, the spine, and we might be able to add a little movement in. Maybe we rock side to side. We might be able to extend through the heel and open up the back of the leg a little more. Opening up through the inner thigh and hip here. Notice the quality of the breath, the sensation of the breath in your body. Coming back to center, pulling the legs together. We're gonna to keep the knees over the chest and take your arms wide, palms down. And on the exhale, let the knees drop over to the right. And as they come over to the right here, we're gonna engage our core and let them subtly lower. And we might come all the way to the floor or we might hover here. So if you want a more restorative version, let the legs come all the way to the ground. If we want to use our bellies, we can stay hovering. We can keep the gaze up toward the sky or we can turn our head to the left. Dropping through your shoulders, lengthening on the inhale, feeling into the twist of the torso on the exhale, opening the space between your left hip and left shoulder. On your inhale, come back to center. As you exhale, hover over to the other side. Or we might lower the legs all the way to the floor. That feels really nice on this first one. Feeling into the space between your right hip and right shoulder. Good. Notice the twist. Inhale, come back to center. Now we follow the rhythm of the breath. So exhale, knees over to your right. They might hover or they might drop to the ground. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, over to the other side. So just tick-tocking your knees side to side. And now the option here of maybe extending through one leg, or we could extend through both legs. So if you wanna add in that extension, you're welcome to inhale back to center. Exhale, over. So all in your timing, we really wanna follow the rhythm of our breath. And if you need to take a break, just ground down through the feet. If you'd like to come into a more restorative variation, you could put your feet right on your mat and let the knees tick tock side to side. Whatever feels good for you this morning or today, whatever time of day it is for you. All right, we'll even out our movement, finishing on the left, and then come back to center, grounding down through your feet. Bring your arms now down by your sides, palms down. Walk the heels a little closer to the body and we'll have our feet about hip distance apart. If you need a little more space, that's fine. We just wanna keep our knees stacking over the ankles. On the inhale, let's lengthen through the tailbone and lift our hips gently. And as the hips lift off the floor, feel the shoulders press down. As the shoulders press down, the back of the neck lengthens and the chin pulls toward the chest. Let's hold here and really press into our shoulders. If we need to soften or lower our hips, we can. If we want to soften the belly, we can. This pose is about the ground. So we're feeling our feet on the floor. We're feeling the shoulder blades. We're lengthening the back of neck. Breathing into your shoulders. In and out. One more breath here. Maybe there's a little more space between ears and shoulders now. And as you exhale, carefully lower down, one vertebra at a time. Feel the back body connecting to the ground. Follow the rhythm of the breath. Inhale, press into your feet, lift the hips, lift the belly, chin to chest, press into your shoulders. Exhale, carefully lower back down. Inhale, rooting to rise. Opening up through the fronts of the hips. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good. One more like that. Inhale, lift. Feel your feet and shoulders. Exhale, lower back down. We're going to pull the knees over the chest. And just rock a little side to side here. And then we'll rock all the way over to our right side. Press your hands into the floor and come on up to a comfortable seat on your mat. Now here in our seat, we can use a bolster or a block under the sit bones. 
And this will help to lengthen out our spine in a seated position and open up the hips a little bit. Good. Cross-legged, legs forward, whatever feels good for you. Let's start with the hands on the knees, palms down. We can close our eyes and as you inhale, feel the spine lengthen. Notice the heart open. As you exhale, let the shoulder blades slide down the back. Let the hips sink into their sockets, sit bones on your bolster. Inhale, lengthening upward. Exhale, grounding down. So just noticing that sensation with the breath. Inhale, lengthening up. Maybe noticing the space between the vertebra. Exhale, sinking into, the, into your bolster. Good. We're gonna exaggerate that breath now. Inhale, lift the shoulders to the ears. Exhale, roll them back and down. Inhale. Exhale. And we can continue to find this gentle controlled movement or we can use a little bit of momentum and a little bit of breath to let the shoulders fall. So if you wanna let go of tension or tightness, it might feel nice to really let that breath fall out of the mouth and let the shoulders drop. One more. Inhale, feel that lengthening up through the crown of your head. And on the exhale, we're gonna drop the chin down into the chest, hold here. Breathe into the space of the back of the neck. Noticing any tension or tightness here. Notice the sensation of the breath in the back body, keeping the spine long and the heart open and still feeling that balance of effort on the inhale and ease or surrender to gravity on your exhale. On the next breath in, we're gonna bring the right ear over the right shoulder. With the right ear over shoulder, find a little lift of your chin and a little drop of the chin. So just some subtle movement here with the ear over the shoulder. We're getting into our left side neck. From the ear to the shoulder, we wanna create space here. Continue to find your breath. And then drop the head back down through center as you exhale, slowly over to the other shoulder, ear over shoulder, and find that little lift of the chin, little drop of the chin, rocking the head back and forward over the shoulder, creating space between your right shoulder and right ear. Notice the sensation here. Back down through center on your exhale, over to the right, one lift of the chin, inhale, back down through center, exhale. Over to the other side, little lift of the chin. Exhale down through center. And we can continue this movement side to side, or if it feels okay for you, we'll make a full circle with our head. Opening up the throat. And if that continues to feel good, we'll make more circles with the head. Opening the front of the neck and throat. Inhale as the head rolls back. Exhale forward. And then change the direction of your circling. Notice the length of the spine. Notice the quality of your breath. Good, evening out the movement. And then bringing the head back to center. Spine is long, the heart is open. We're gonna take our arms high. Reach up out of your hips and ribs. Let's pull the shoulders down the back and turn the gaze past the palms. As you inhale, reach up and a little bit back. As you exhale, let's take our arms wide. We're gonna hollow the belly now, round the spine, reach forward, chin to chest. On the inhale, lengthen the spine. Take your arms wide, soften the joints of the arms, lift the chin. Exhale, hollow round, chin to chest, reach forward. Inhale, we're opening the ribs, we're opening the upper chest. Exhale, we're opening the back, the upper back body, the shoulder blades. Inhale, heart opens, chin lifts. Exhale, hollow round. Softening the joints of the arms, finding that gentle flow that follows the rhythm of your own breath. 
And we can imagine our arms are an extension of our lungs. Here, we can invite a deeper, more powerful breath if we want to build a little more heat in the body. Inhaling and creating a little restriction in the throat, exhaling through that restricted passage. This is a ujjayi breath. It's a breath you can feel and hear. And if your shoulders are tired, we're gonna lower the arms. Three more. Last breath. Inhale, let the fingertips tap the ground. Each side of the body, we're creating this beautiful pyramid shape. And then we're gonna take the left hand to the ground, take the right arm up and over, exhale. Reach and extend through the fingers. On your inhale, come back to center, take both arms high, feel the space between the vertebra. Exhale over to the other side, reach and extend. Inhale back to center, lengthening up. Exhale up and over. Let's follow the rhythm of our own breath. We're getting into our side body, creating space between the shoulder and hip opening up the side torso. Follow the breath. Notice the sensation in your body here. Soften your supporting arm. Lots of length in our spine here. And the next time we're up and over on the left side, we're gonna stay here, exhale. On your inhale, spin the heart open toward the sky, pull that arm back. And as you exhale, we're gonna bow toward the ground and really reach and extend here over to the left. Back to center on your inhale, up and over to the other side, reach and extend. On your inhale, spin the heart open to the sky, really opening that top shoulder. Exhale, bowing toward the earth, reach and extend the fingers. Back to center on the inhale, reach the arms high. On the exhale, hands to the ground. From here, we're gonna press the hands in front of us and come into a tabletop position. So we can remove our bolster and come onto our hands and knees. So if the knees need a little more cushion here, you can pick up your yoga mat from the middle, lift it high, and then fold it back over itself. And that's gonna create a triple cushion for your knees. You're welcome to come into that if you like. We'll spread the fingers nice and wide on the ground, and we can even lift the heel of hand for a moment. Press into your fingers, press into your thumbs, press into the knuckle pads, then let the heel of hand gently come onto the ground. Let's extend the right leg back, plant down through your toes and reach through the heel. Pull navel to spine as you reach back through your heel. Now press into the floor with your hands, pressing the floor away. Open up the back of the leg. We'll find the same stretch for the other side, left leg back. Plant the toes, reach, extend back through your heel. Really press into the ground with your whole hand here. Navel to spine to support the low back. Knees come back under the hips. On the exhale, press the floor away, hollow the belly round the spine, chin to chest. On the inhale, let's soften the arms, pull the shoulders down the back, drop the belly, lift the chin and tailbone. Exhale, actively press the floor away. Hollow the belly around the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, we can soften. We drop the belly, shoulders back, chin might lift. Exhale, hollow round. We can come back to a deep and powerful breath or find your own breath here, long and steady. Using Ujjayi, we'll continue to build heat in the body. And that Ujjayi breath creates this thread of air. So you're restricting the muscles in the throat, of constricting the muscles in the throat, subtly here. Good. Notice the sensation in your spine, in your neck, your shoulders, your hands. Are you sharing the weight with the fingers and thumbs? And then let's come back to a neutral spine. Take your hips over to the right, back into your heels over to the left, 
and forward. Exhale to the right, back into the heels. Inhale to the left and forward. And we can walk our hands a little more forward to create more space. Exhale, circle back. Inhale, circle forward. So these might be quite subtle for you, these circles, or maybe they're wider, maybe they're deeper. Tune into your knees and your hips and your low spine. In your body with your breath here. And then let's change direction, even out the movement, getting into our outer hip here and our low back. And if you're coming far enough forward, we're getting into the fronts of our hips as well. Notice the rhythm and quality of your own breath. Let it continue to guide the movement. And then back to a neutral tabletop position. And from here, we're gonna come onto the belly. So give yourself some space to come all the way down. If your mat is folded, we'll unravel it here first. We're gonna lower down. Take one hand on the other and rest your forehead on your hands. Picking up the feet, let them tick tock side to side. Releasing any tension or tightness here through the hips or low spine. Lowering the legs back down, take the hands the width or wider than your yoga mat and forward of your shoulders. Fingers wide, press into the ground and lift up. Pull the shoulders back and down, open up through the heart space. On the exhale, we're gonna drop the right shoulder toward the ground, look to the left, and then start to look to the right. Feel your left shoulder drop down. Inhale, press back up. So we're circling, maybe drawing circles with our nose or crown of head. Inhale to rise, exhale to sink. Noticing the sensation here in the shoulder blades getting into all the spaces around those shoulder blades. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. And we can feel our back core starting to light up a little in this one. Take your time and then change direction to even out the movement. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Stay in your body, stay with your breath. Our mind has a way of taking over. Let's try to keep our attention right here. Back to neutral, back to center, breathe in. Exhale, lower down, forehead on your hands. Pick up the feet, let them tick tock side to side. Slow, steady movement here, releasing any tension through the spine and hips. Lowering the legs back down. Take your arms nice and wide. Drop the left ear to the ground. Good. From here, we're gonna roll over to our left hip, stacking the hips. And we can bend a little through that left knee for a little more support. Start to press the ground away with your right hand. Now I feel my left arm completely extended back like an airplane wing. Good. From here, if we can take it deeper, we're gonna pick up the right leg, bend the knee, and then reach for the ground behind us with our toes. The toes might touch, they might not come close, but we can feel into this twist happening now through the torso and opening through the hip, and a deeper stretch through the left shoulder and the left pectoral. If it feels like too much, bring your legs back together. If it's okay, we'll stay here. Good. If you can take it even deeper, Let's see if we can float the right arm high. Reach through the fingers. Pull the shoulder blades toward each other on the back. We might bend the right elbow and take the hand behind our low spine. Pull the shoulders back. Open up the chest. Feeling the left side of the head firmly on the ground. See if we can let go of any extra effort in this stretch. And maybe we can soften our left arm, our left leg, the muscles of the face. Breathe into all the areas that need that breath, that need space. The shoulders, the chest, the hips. We can stay here or we might take it further. 
reaching for your foot. So right hand reaches for the right foot. Now, if you have that grip, you can stay with me and we're gonna kick into our hand, sending hips and heart forward, opening up even more. Or maybe we're back to our initial position with the hand on the ground. So any variation works here. Your body, your breath. Breathe into the stretch. Deeply opening our shoulders here, our chest. Exhale, bring the right hand to the floor. Slowly with control, come back onto the belly and forehead. And then all the way over to your right ear. That right arm extending back behind you. We might wiggle the hips in place just to soften any tension that may be building there. And then when you're ready, come on over to your right hip. We stack our hips. We're pressing the floor away with the left hand. We're already feeling enough stretch here in the right shoulder and the right pectoral. If you wanna take it deeper, the left leg lifts, we bend the knee and we reach for the floor behind us. Breathe into the stretch. Your body, your breath here. Use the inhale to create space in your body. Use the exhale to surrender to gravity. If we wanna take it further, float the left arm high, reach through the fingers, pull the shoulder blades together. Bending at the elbow, maybe taking the hand behind your back. Keep opening through the heart, opening through the hips. In your body, you're with your breath. We might stay here or we can reach for our foot. If the hand is ha has the foot easily, if you're flexible here, we're gonna kick into our hand and let the hips and heart come forward as we kick back. If you need a little more stability in this pose, we bend at the knee on that right leg so we can use that whole leg on the ground to support us. On your exhale, carefully unravel with control. Slowly guide the body back to the floor, bringing your forehead on your hands. Pick up the feet, let them tick tock side to side. Deep in the breath. Lowering the toes to the ground, taking the hands either side of the ribs. Inhale, press up to your knees. And from here, we're gonna press our hands evenly into the floor and come back and up to downward facing dog. For this down dog, we can keep our knees a little bent and the heels off the ground. We start to pedal the heels left and right. Press the floor away with your whole hand. So feeling your fingers, feeling your thumbs. See if we can let the head drop heavy between our arms. And as much bend in the knees as your hamstrings need here. Maybe hip side to side. Notice the quality of the breath. Good, and then back to a centered position, knees a little bit bent, heels lifted. And on your inhale, let's come forward to a plank position, shoulders over the wrists. Let the knees slowly come to the floor with control. Take the hips over the heels and back it up to downward dog, exhale. Inhale forward to your plank. Lower the knees, hips back and up, exhale, downward dog, press the floor away. We're gonna feel this wave through the spine. Inhale forward, exhale back and up. Inhale forward, exhale back and up. Keep pressing the floor away, using your whole hand. We are building energy in our legs, our arms, and our core in this one. Now we can continue with the knees on the ground or we can let the knees hover just above our mat. So if you want a little more, you can let the knees hover. Inhale forward, exhale back and up. Feeling blood, oxygen, energy moving through the body and the energy building in our arms, in our legs. Two more like this. Rest when you need to rest. One more. 
From downward dog, take the feet a little wider, bend your knees and walk your hands to the back of your mat. We're gonna find a forward fold here with soft legs so we can soften our knees. Hold opposite elbows, let the head hang heavy, and then shift your weight from one foot to the other gently, finding that little sway. Noticing the space between the vertebra as we hang heavy. On your inhale, with the knees soft, we're gonna pull navel to spine and roll up one vertebra at a time. Press your feet into the ground, take the arms all the way up. Pull up out of the fingers, let the shoulders come back and down. And then from here, we're gonna hold on to the right wrist. Reach through the heel of hand, come up and over to the left. Exhale the breath. As you reach left, the hips come over to the right. Inhale back to center, switch the grip, up and over other side. One more each side, keeping that length in the spine. Back to center on the inhale, switch the grip over to the other side. Good, inhale back to center, take the hands to the low spine, fingers down. Heel toe your feet parallel to each other and about hip distance apart. Bring the weight into your toes, lift the heart, pull the shoulders back. If it feels okay, let the head fall back. Keep the weight forward in the feet and breathe. Opening up the throat, opening up the upper chest, pulling shoulders toward each other in the back. Inhale, come back to center. We can separate the feet a little wider, bend the knees and come down to fold. Hands to thighs to guide you down. Let the head release gently. Pull the shoulders down away from your ears. Shoulder blades draw toward each other and the arms are gonna reach back behind us. See if you can interlace the fingers here or just find an active reach, whatever works in your body. We're gonna bow the head a little more deeply and reach through the fingers. Pull the shoulders off the ears. One more breath. As you exhale, we bow a little more deeply. On your inhale, we're gonna sink our hips in line with our knees, sweep the arms forward and high, press your feet into the floor and stand tall. On the exhale, with control, we bow. Find an active reach back, let the head hang heavy. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, release. Inhale, root through the feet to rise. Exhale, release. The breath is in through the nose, out through nose or mouth. And we can continue to find this nice, gentle, controlled movement, or we can use the momentum of our arms and a more powerful out breath. So you decide what feels good in your body. If you need controlled, slower movement, find that. If you're using momentum, see if you can let that breath just fall out of the mouth. Good. Two more like that. Inhale, rise, exhale, shake it off. We're gonna take a walk to the top of our mat from here. Good. Feet parallel and about hip distance apart. We're going to take the arms high and sink back to chair pose and then bring the hands down into the heart. Good. Rock the weight into your toes. Take the arms high and wide. Inhale. We can stand tall. Exhale back into chair pose, hands to heart. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. So notice the sensation in your feet as we share the weight with the heels and the toes and the inner and outer edges. Find your roots. And this is another pose where we can bring in the Ujjayi breath if you wanna build a little more heat. Two more. One more. Good. From here, we're gonna lengthen through the spine and see if we can bring that left elbow over to the right thigh or the left hand to thigh. So either way, we're gonna come into a little twist here. Lengthening through crown of head, 
planting through the feet. See how much length we can find in our pose. Knees pointing forward. On your inhale, come back to center, lift a little higher. On the exhale, sink back to chair, long spine, and we'll twist to the other side. Any variation here, maybe hand to thigh or elbow to thigh. Find your length. Good. Back to center, lift a little higher and shake it off. Shake off the legs. <laughs> All right. So we are coming back to chair pose, but just for a moment. Bending the knees, take the arms high, bring the weight into the left foot, pick up the right. Now, we might keep just that big toe on the ground or we might be able to lift the foot. Try to set your gaze on a speck on the floor or if you have a nice wooden floor, find a knot in the wood. Focus your attention there. We might be able to extend the leg forward or we might stay right here. In your body, with your breath. Now take that leg halfway back on your mat, bring your hands to your hips. Let's heel toe the left foot to the left edge of our mat. And we're just gonna find some movement into the front foot and into the back foot. So forward and back, sort of on a diagonal. There's nothing perfect about this movement. So we're just sharing that weight from the back foot to the front foot. And then bring the weight into your left foot. Bend that knee a little bit. Lengthen up through the crown of the head. Take your arms wide, bend the elbows. On the inhale, lean into the front foot, send the heart forward, arms back, lift the chin. Exhale, bring the weight into your back foot, bend the back knee, reach forward and bow. Inhale, heart forward, arms back, chin lifts. Exhale, hollow round. Inhale, soften the joints of your arms. Exhale, if the shoulders are tired, keep the arms nice and low. Invite a more powerful breath if it feels good for you. Find a slow, steady breath if that feels good for you. We're challenging balance gently here as we shift our weight from one foot to the other. We're opening up the spaces of the heart and the back body. Let the arms feel like an extension of your lungs. following the rhythm of your own breath. Now bring the weight back into your left foot. Take your hands together at the heart. Find that speck on the floor or not in the wood and then lift the back foot off the ground. It might just be coming off the floor. We're gonna really root down strong through our left foot. Engage your left quads. Reach through that right heel, forward through crown of head and then we can play with lifting the leg, dropping the heart or we might stay where we are. We could also take the arms wide, that might help with balance. For five, four, three, two, soften your standing leg, take the right foot way back on your mat, ground your heel, and open up. Bend through the left knee, coming into our bent knee triangle. On the inhale from here, I want you to feel the length of the spine. If your arms are tired, let them fall. We can shake it out. Inhale, lengthening the spine. Exhale, sinking deeper. Inhale, lengthening the spine. Exhale, sinking deeper. And when you're ready, we can bring our arms back in. On the inhale, right hand to back leg, left arm is high, reach up and back. On the exhale, bring the left forearm to thigh, reach your right arm overhead. And then we'll circle that arm down to the mat. Take the arm back behind you and high. Inhale as you reach high, exhale as we lower. Three circles for the shoulder. and then change the direction, three more circles, noticing the mobility in your chest and shoulder here. Rising back to your warrior two, and then from here, we're gonna step or hop it to the top of our mat, just take your time. Bring the weight into your right foot, come back into your chair, and then we're gonna pick up the left foot. Now the toe again might be on the ground, we might just work with that. Set your gaze, we might be able to take that left foot forward in your body with your breath, rooting down through the standing foot. Now from here, the left foot comes halfway back on our mat, hands to hips, and we can heel toe the right foot to the right edge of mat. Shift the weight forward and back. Good. Good. So just feeling one foot, then the other, one knee, then the other. 
Now bring the weight into your right foot. We'll hold it here, a little bend to the knee, lengthen the spine, take the arms wide. As you take your next inhale, heart forward, chin lifts, arms back. Exhale, hollow round, reach forward, weight in the back foot, chin to chest. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, hollow round, reach forward. Good, so we're opening up through the heart on that inhale and bowing on the exhale, softening the joints of our arms. We can lower the arms if our shoulders are tired. Slow down the movement if you're feeling a little tired. Find a steady breath. Playing with balance. On the next inhale, bring the weight into your right foot, hands together at your heart. Find that speck on the floor, and we're gonna pick up the left foot. The right foot is pressing into the ground, quads engaged. Navel can pull the spine to support the low back. We might reach through our left heel forward through crown of head. From here, we could play with lifting the left leg, dropping the heart. Or we might stay right here, where that left toe can come back to the floor if we need it to. In your body with your breath, maybe arms wide. Three, two, one. Let's take the left foot way back. Open up the arms, bend the right knee over the ankle for warrior two. On the inhale, feel the length of the spine. On the exhale, we sink into the pose. Drop the shoulders and hips. Lower the arms if they need a rest. Lengthening on your inhale, sinking on your exhale. And then sinking on the next exhale. Lengthening the arms on the next inhale. Left hand to back leg, reaching that right arm high. Reaching that right arm back. And on the exhale, bring your forearm to thigh. Left arm overhead. Circle the left hand down to the ground. Back behind you and high on the inhale. Three circles for the shoulder. and then change direction. Rising back to warrior two, looking forward. Step it to the top of your mat and shake it off. Whew, well done. <laughs> All right, we're gonna come back down to our mat. To get there, we're gonna come into a squat position at the top of our mat. Toes slightly outward, legs wide. You can use your block under your sit bones if you need that. You can use the hands on the ground in front of you first and just see if we can shift the weight from one foot to the other, getting into the ankles and the hips. And then coming deeper into your squat position, we're gonna send the heels toward the mat, they may not touch, and then bring the elbows to the inner thigh, hands to heart. Here's where you might sit on a block for more support. Plant through the feet, reach back through the heel, lengthen up through crown of head and find your breath. Send the breath into those hips, into your feet. Beautiful. You can use your hands for support again. We're gonna take the hands back behind us, remove your block if you have it and come on and sit down on your mat. Take the legs forward, shake them off. Circle the feet. All right, we're gonna take the right leg over the left from here. So crossing right over left, lengthening up through crown of head. And then if we can take this further, we'll take the left heel over to our right hip. Good. Lengthening through crown of head. Taking the left hand around your knee, take the right hand behind you. On your inhale, find length. And here we're using that back arm like a kickstand for the spine. On your exhale, we can twist gently. Good. On the inhale, feel the space between the vertebra as we lengthen upward. Use your kickstand. Exhale, we can hug the knee and twist. Now we wanna keep this twist in our mid back. So let's soften through the neck, jaw, tongue, and throat. And just close our eyes and tune into the mid spine here. We'll notice a subtle restriction of breath as we twist, we're cutting off half the body, so half the lungs are restricted in this pose. Good. 
Bring all of your awareness into the back body, noticing the sensations there. We're restricting blood flow to the vertebra. Now on your inhale, slowly return to center and feel that flow of blood coming back to the, to the spine, to our scaffolding. And then bring your hands over to your left. We're gonna bow here, send the knee away from us. Inhale, back to center, hands back, legs forward. Shake them off, and then we'll bring the left leg over the right. We can hug it in. We might bring the right heel over to the left hip if it feels okay. Otherwise, keep that leg extended, lengthening up. Taking the left hand behind you, it's your kickstand. The right hand holds the knee or hugs the knee. If you want a little more, you could bring the elbow outside your knee here. Lengthen on the inhale using that kickstand. Exhale, twist the torso. So we're twisting to the left. Good. Soften the shoulders down away from your ears. Release any tension in the jaw and the neck. On your inhale, find length. On your exhale, find twist. Try to keep the twist in the mid back. So if you're feeling tension in your shoulders, soften the shoulders, soften the neck. See if you can let go of any extra effort in the pose. Mm. Inhale, coming back to center. Hands over to the right, exhale, we bow. Send the knee away. Come on back to center on the inhale, hands back, legs forward. Shake them off. And then we're gonna slide up our mat. Bringing the hands to the knees. On the inhale, send the heart forward. On the exhale, hollow the belly round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, send the heart forward. And on the exhale, let's come all the way back onto the spine. Hug the thighs over the chest and we'll circle the knees again. Just softening that low spine. Change direction of the circling. Good. And then lower the feet to the ground. From here, we're going to take the right heel to the left thigh, creating a figure four. Pick up the left foot if you can, and then we'll interlace the fingers behind the thigh, pulling that left leg in. Now you might be getting enough stretch with that left foot on the ground, just pressing the right knee away. Breathing into the right hip, wherever you are. Pulling against that left leg to deepen the stretch. We wanna make sure that the shoulders and back of head are on the ground for this one. Gently let it go. Both feet to the floor. We'll do the same stretch for the other side. So this figure four is releasing our low spine and opening the hips gently. So left heel to right thigh. We might stay here, just gently pressing that left leg away. Or we could pick up the right foot, interlace the fingers behind the thigh and gently pull that leg in. Breathe into the left hip, maybe noticing the difference from one side to the other. In your body with your breath here. Good, lower down, both feet to the floor. We're gonna heel toe the feet outside our mat. We can take our arms wide. Keeping the width here, let's let the knees drop down to the left. Good. Breathing into the outer hip on the right. Releasing the low spine. Maybe feeling into a subtle twist here. Back to center on the inhale, other side, exhale. Good. Come on back to center on your inhale. We're gonna heel toe the feet together and let the, let the knees drop open for gentle reclined stretch. Let's bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the chest. 
closing our eyes. Notice the sensation and quality of the breath. On the next inhale, let's feel the breath in the belly, then in the throat, I'm sorry, then in the chest, then in the throat. Exhale the throat, the chest, the belly. Inhale into the belly, into the chest, into the throat. Exhale, throat, chest, and belly. See if you can bring all of your attention to this breath. Coming into the three-part breath on your own. Feeling the wave of breath moving through the body. Now with each exhale, the body surrenders to gravity. We can remain in the stretch we're in here, or we could send our heels to the bottom corners of our mat. Whatever feels good for you. We can keep our hands on our bodies to maintain that attention and awareness of the body and breath, or bring our arms down by our sides, palms open. Softening the body from the crown of your head all the way to your toes. Softening the muscles of the forehead, the eyebrows, the space between the brows. Softening the eyes, the temples. Soften the jaw, the tongue, the throat. Soften the neck and shoulders. Softening down through your arms, from the shoulders, through the elbows, through the wrists, the palms, each finger and thumb. Soften through the chest, the collarbones, the ribs, the shoulder blades, the heart and the lungs. Softening through the stomach, the mid-back. Releasing all the internal organs of the body. Softening the low spine. Releasing through the sacrum, the hips and the pelvis. Down through your legs, from your hips, through your knees, through your ankles, feet, and each toe. Feel the physical body completely surrender to gravity here. Finding a gentle breath in and out now. See if you can, can keep your awareness in your body and with your gentle breath, continuing to surrender to gravity. As we come into the present moment here, we are shifting from thinking to feeling, and from doing to being. Noticing this transition.
On the next inhale, let's deepen the breath. Wiggle the fingers and the toes. Let the head drop gently side to side. Gently grounding down through the feet, bending the knees. And when you're ready, let's roll over to our right or left side and press up to a comfortable seat on your mat. <laughs> All right, let's close with a few breaths together. Take a deep breath in and a steady breath out. Let's take a steady breath in and a deep breath out. One more breath, however you like it, in and out. Thank you so much for joining this practice. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're feeling spacious in your body today. Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here. If you're enjoying what we're sharing, please give us a like, and you can also subscribe to this channel below. And if you wanna follow us along on this journey, you can find us at kin.co or on Instagram at kinsite.